and welcome to Voice with Julia. And day 15 of our 30 days of breath support, we are at the halfway mark and we are gonna be talking about singing legato on the breath, okay? If you have not caught up on days one through 14, please make sure you do that before asking any questions because I'm certain that they are answered in the first part of the series or will be answered a little bit later on. But it's very important for anyone who's serious about learning about this subject, don't just watch this video, okay? Because if you watch this video and you write a comment or a question below, I'll know that you haven't watched any of the other videos. So please make sure, because it's very dangerous to take a bit of information, as we know with everything in life, if you take a little snippet of information and make your assessment based on that out of context little piece of information, there's gonna be problems, there's gonna be misunderstanding. You are gonna have trouble with your singing, so don't do it, okay? Go watch everything and put it all together. Take the time to do that. You know, we all want it fast today. We want it fast and get it done, and that just provides shoddy results. So don't do it. Go watch everything, okay? And without further ado, I want to invite you all to the Luca Belcanto Institute. This is for classical singers. And we're gonna have a fantastic time in Luca, Italy from September 9th through 16th. If you are interested in up-leveling your technique and getting really serious this summer, the link is below and we suggest you apply early. We hope to see you there. Voice with Julia, change your voice, change your life. Now, what we're gonna be doing today is learning how to sing a legato phrase and staying on the breath. Okay, I know you, you've probably felt this as we've been doing all this work. You felt the um, effect of the rib cage staying high, right? And not coming down. Although I'm sure as you're singing a phrase, this will want to come down. That's normal, you're a human body. It should want to come down. But our job is to try to keep it as buoyant to the end of the phrase as possible. And that's where the freedom down here helps. Because if this gets bound up, this wants to drop. It's just like, oh, it's like we're squeezing in the center, right? Okay, so legato, if you think about it, what we need to do to make a beautiful legato phrase is we need to stay on the breath, okay? So we're gonna sing a simple scale. We're gonna sing And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it in and as we start to go out, we're gonna go here, then we're gonna come back in, okay? But this is all very subtle. This is happening again below the belt line. And you wanna make sure that all of the intervals are connected, okay? It's okay if, you, if this exercise is a little bit slurred, that's great because we're learning to really stay on the breath. Now, I wanna give you a little trick. When I go up to the top of the scale, I drop my tailbone, okay? Because the natural inclination will be to lock out and do that, do the opposite. So watch what I do it from the side. this rib cage nice and flexible, okay? It keeps everything open. So this is a great exercise to practice your breath over a legato phrase. So notice we're not doing any pumping anymore. We're doing a gentle motion this way and this way and this way, right? So it's very slow-mo. It's not every note, okay? Like we've been doing in the previous exercises. So practice this and see how this helps you influence your legato, okay? keeping that breath stable and just moving delicately here as you go up and down a phrase. And I'll see you tomorrow.